Hi, welcome to Learn Cardano on Windows. This is a series of video tutorials on how to use the Cardano command line applications on the Windows platform. For more of my videos, please visit blockchain.net.ph and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more of my current and upcoming videos dedicated entirely for Cardano on Windows. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to generate keys and payment address, specifically a verification key and a signing key. Many of the features of Cardano CLI, such as creating a native asset or token, or setting up a stake pool, they require a payment address and keys. And the reason why I came up with this quick tutorial on how to generate a payment address is because you will be needing this in my other tutorials so that I won't need to show you the process every time a payment address is required. You can easily reference this video whenever the, a need arises. However, most of the examples available on Cardano developers websites, they teach you how to generate payment address directly from keys. Um, the problem with this approach is that you won't be able to backup or restore your uh, funds if in case you lose your keys. So what we are going to do in this tutorial is we will be generating our keys and payment address from a recovery phrase so that you will be able to back it up or restore it in a third-party wallet or a desktop or mobile wallet such as Daedalus and Yoroi. Now to get started, I created a keys folder inside the Cardano wallet main folder so that all the files that we will generate in this tutorial we are going to keep them inside the keys folder in order to keep them well organized and also i have prepared for you here a step-by-step -step guide with all the commands that we'll be performing in order to complete this tutorial this guide will be available on the uh, description section of this video now to get started open a command prompt on windows and go to cardano wallet main folder where cardano address and cardano cli are located because we will be using these two command line applications in this tutorial also make sure you have created the keys folder this is where we will store all our files that we will generate along the way. And with the guide that I'm providing you with, we are simply going to copy paste all these commands as we go along this tutorial to make your life easier. And the very first step that you are going to do is to generate a recovery phrase and save it inside a recovery dot phrase file so go ahead let's copy this command and let's proceed to our command prompt so let's generate a recovery phrase using cardano address command line application so here it is here's our recovery phrase inside a file so make sure this file is well protected keep it safe and keep it secured make sure no one has access to it or else you will put your funds at risk all right so let's proceed with the next step which is to generate an extended private key out of the recovery phrase that we just generated and save it inside a private key file so here is the command let's copy paste that on our command prompt so here's our private key Let's proceed now with the next step, is, which is to get the public counterpart of that private key that we just generated and save it inside a public key file. So 
So there you go, here's our public key file. Now let's proceed with the fourth one, which is to derive a child payment key from the parent private key file that we just generated and save it inside a payment.key file. So here it is, here's our payment key file. Now we are done with the Cardano address command line application. We will now be using Cardano CLI on our next steps. Moving on to our fifth step using Cardano CLI, we are now going to convert the extended signing payment key that was generated in the previous step into a corresponding Shelly format key and save it in payment.sk file. So let's copy this command and proceed to our command prompt. So here is our payment signing key that was generated. So let's proceed to the next step, which is to get the extended verification key out of that payment signing key and save it inside xpayment.vkey file. So here is our extended verification key file. The next step is to get the non-extended verification key from that extended verification key file and save it inside payment.vkey file. So here it is, our payment v key file which is the non-extended version of the extended version of our verification key file and now we proceed to the final step which is to use that non-extended verification key file to build a shelly payment address which is our final payment address and save it inside a payment that address file so let's copy our final step and paste it in our command prompt. So here is our payment address that was generated. So you can now actually send tokens, particularly add tokens into this payment address for us to be able to proceed with our other tutorials. All right. So for the sake of this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to query another payment address that I have sent some tokens to already in order for you to see how it looks like if you receive a token to the payment address that you just generated. So after sending some tokens to your new payment address, and wait for a couple of minutes, you should see some transaction hashes like this and with the corresponding amount in Lovelace. So again, one Lovelace is equivalent to uh, a millionth of one ADA token. So basically, one million Lovelace is equivalent to one ADA token. So if you send three added tokens you should see a transaction hash with a corresponding amount of three million lovelace all right so this concludes our tutorial on how to generate a payment address and verification and signing keys out of a recovery phrase all right thank you for watching and i will see you in my next tutorial Bye-bye.